In this video, I'm going to show you how to reverse engineer Candy Crush that's running on an iPhone uh, using LLDB. LLDB and Hopper, Hopper Disassembler. Uh, you can get iPhone SSH from GitHub, and this will let you SSH into your iOS device via USB cable. Once we SSH into the device, we're go going to need to start the debug server and attach to a running process on the device. We're going to uh, run iProxy and we're going to pull forward local port 4242 on the Mac to the remote port 4242 on the iPhone and this is uh, in order for us to connect to the debug server uh, from from a local instance of LLDB so we're gonna launch LLDB on the Mac and we're gonna have debug server on the iPhone So the switches for the debug server are the, um, the IP address and the port. Here it's going to be listening uh, on port 4242 for an incoming connection. And we're going to launch an LLDB instance on the Mac. And we're going to connect to the debug server running uh, on the iPhone. Remember to do platform select, remote iOS, target create and you have to point it to your decrypted uh, binary. In this case, it's Candy Crush Saga. And the command to connect is process connect, connect, semicolon slash slash localhost 4242 and that's the reason why we're running iProxy. Once issue the process connect command it might take a while um, for LLDB to, to connect and process the, the binary so give it a minute. and LLDB is connected. I'm going to import the script. It's called LLDB init. Now, in order for us to, to, um, to work with the image that's uh, uh, in memory on the iOS device, uh, we need to calculate a delta offset uh, which is because um, iOS implements uh, uh, an ASLR uh, mechanism where it effectively loads uh, an image in memory at a the, at the random address each time that you launch an, uh, a process. So every time you execute a program, it loads into a different address in memory. In Hopper Disassembler, I'm searching for in-game booster button clicked. This is the procedure or function that uh, has the string in it. And uh, this is the function that gets called when you actually click the booster image in the game.
So to calculate the uh, address in memory of the running process, we're using the delta offset, and uh, we're adding delta uh, to the uh, addresses that we see in the disassembler each time that we want to work with the process memory. At the address C0792, there is a switch table. So in theory, once we set the breakpoint in LLDB and we click on an image, on, on the uh, booster image in the game, uh, our, uh, our debugger should break. So we should be back in LLDB, which is what I'm going to try right now. And it does break. The value in R0 register is 8. And this value changes depending on which image you click. So there's five boosters at the bottom. In this case, I did have a, a UFO booster available. That's why it uh, it let me use it. However, if I don't have uh, any boosters available, uh, it will prompt me to to purchase them. So in case of a switch table, um, the execution continues. Uh, there are several subroutines, I should call them, or um, it's basically a switch case. And uh, um, so depending on the booster that you click, the execution continues at a different place. For this UFO booster, it's the subroutine at C0908. Um, and then there's a sub 7531E being called, which returns a value in R0. Here the, the, the value is saved in register R6. And then at the end of the function, it is compared to 1. I'm going to set a breakpoint at the address which has the call to sub 7531E because I want to see what's going on in there. And this is, uh, this is the place in memory where the game actually stores its values. We can look at it in the disassembler. So here the command is um, LDR R0, R0 plus 4, and that's the address where the game keeps uh, the, the quantity of the boosters available. So if we overwrite it, we can uh, effectively cheat.
if we return to the game screen, we can see that the quantity is updated. And if we click the hammer booster, it takes us to a different subroutine, which has a very similar pattern to the previous one. So that's the address for um, this booster, C07AE. And the pattern is very similar as with the UFO booster. And there is a call to the same subroutine, 7531E. Uh, the value is saved in register R6, and then R6 is compared to 1. And just for fun, I'm going to write uh, the value 4242 in there. Then let's return back to the game so we can see the update. Instead of showing us the model that lets us buy uh, more stuff, uh, it actually lets us use the booster and it updated the number as well. Okay. I'm going to quit the game and then check my inventory just to make sure that the uh, boosters are persistent, that they don't just disappear.